If you can turn your thoughts into actions, that is supreme alchemy. Here's Planet Asia and Talib Kweli talking about exactly that. You have a low form of alchemy, which people think is, people call, you know, the transferring of metals. Mm -hmm. The high form of alchemy is changing the subjective to the objective, mm -hmm. bringing your thoughts into life. What right. we do in hip hop is the is a form of alchemy. Right. Biggie, I always tell people the, the, the song Juicy, that's an alchemist song. That's because right. Biggie didn't have none of that when he was writing those lyrics. That's right. Mm. He spoke truth to he power. He spoke that into right. existence. Manifested Manifestation. It. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what supreme alchemy is. And that's what, you know, for those who want to get knowledge of self and <laughs> and get, come build with the gods. This is what we dealing with. We we dealing with bringing things to life, not hallucinating and looking at stargazing. It Supreme alchemy exists. It's possible. In fact, I've seen it over and over again. We're born into a world that we don't feel like we can affect, but we can. Life can either be a movie that washes over us, or it can be something we actively participate in. I went to a spoon bending party once. It was called a PK party for psychokinesis. The entire idea was that you'd go with 50 or 100 other people into a big room. They hand out spoons, metal spoons, Spoons that are kind of hard to bend, but they instruct you very directly. Look at the spoon. State your intention. I'm going to bend the spoon. Bend, bend, bend. But then in between these moments, you would test the spoon. You would physically take the spoon in your hands. You would see if the spoon was ready to bend at that moment. And this would happen over and over again. You would stare at the spoon all together, 50, 100 people all together, shouting, bend, bend, bend. All the while, people were also testing the spoon with their hands. If you're wondering, yes, I was able to bend the spoon because I used my hands. That was kind of the point and or the funny joke of this whole party. Yes, they were gonna teach you to bend a spoon with your mind, but what they didn't mention was that you use your hands too. And that is the lesson. The remarkable thing about a party like that is only half of the people on average really end up bending the spoon. And that mirrors what I see in society. A lot of people have the idea in their mind. I wanna use my mind to bend the spoon. But when it comes time to actually do it, they think that there's magic. Unfortunately, there's no magic. There's only our hands. There's only the application of force. There's only intention. There's only us doing it. Nobody's coming for us. There's no one coming to save us. Life is kind of like this all the time. We have this idea that we want to manifest in reality, but you have to take the action. There's an interesting study that's kind of related about luck, actually. A professor named Richard Wiseman conducted an experiment about luckiness. Some people in the experiment identified as lucky, others did not. This was the task they set out. Everyone gets a newspaper and they ask you, please count the number of photos and images in this newspaper. On page two, right there, in big letters, it would say, you're done. There are 53 photos in this newspaper. The lucky people spotted it right away. The unlucky people ended up completing the task, but they would do it the manual way. People who were lucky were looking to be lucky. They were seeing opportunity that other people just did not see at all. So luck does play a role, but luck might actually be about your intention, about your expectation, and your awareness. Lucky people are on the lookout for being lucky. Those are two very powerful lessons. You should be lucky and you should also be intentional. If you combine these two things, yes, you too can bend the spoon with your mind. There is no spoon. Then you'll see that it is not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself.
Oracle. Thanks for watching.